Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, May the 7th. We are looking at the NBA prize picks plays. Two games slate, the same exact one from Friday night, which is where we had our six for six days. So hopefully, you know, we can kind of have a repeat of that. Tough day yesterday. Blowout in the second game. First game, Butler uh, fell short of his PRA. Only seven assists and rebounds. Not going to get it done. And also, Vincent... Tough night from him. He let a lot of people down. But two games late today. There's actually a lot of props on price picks that look really good. So I was thinking about making three slips. One for the Sixers-Celtics game. One for the Suns-Nuggets. And then one combined slip. So I'll see uh, as we go through this video. But I think that's what the plan is. That's what I have listed. A um, bunch of props that I like. So might as well share them all. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it for the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and let's get into it. So, first prop that I like is going over to the points prop and taking DeAnthony Melton over 8.5 points. Uh, this seems pretty free. He's at home. He's been playing really well this postseason. He had one bad game, which was game two in Boston, where he couldn't buy a basket. But, you know, he's playing solid minutes. We saw last game. Uh, he got they put Tucker on the bench and brought him in pretty quickly, uh, and then Tucker came had a couple threes late in the game. But you know if Tucker's not going to shoot. You know Melton is definitely a guy that will come in and take some of those minutes away. He's also just going to be their sixth man and has been playing pretty close to starter level minutes. Uh, look look at his playoff uh, last game. He played 30 minutes. In that Boston game where he couldn't buy a basket, just had two points, but 24 minutes before that, 27-30. He's been playing good minutes, um, and he's a really good outside shooter. He's a good defender as well, especially when the Celtics like to run a lot of guard lineups. So he's the first prop that I like. Uh, a second prop from that game is going over to points, rebounds, assists. This one, we are going to go with Malcolm Brogdon at 20 and a half. So he got it done for us. So shout out Malcolm Brogdon. Two points in the first half. We needed 15. He got it done in the second half, playing 16 straight minutes. The last two free throws put him over the top. And you could go right back to his PRA or right back to his points, but I'm taking his PRA. He's been good in the rebound and assist category, playing good minutes. He had nine last game, eight, six, 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 eight. So he is contributing in those. If he does give you like maybe... You know, 13 points gives you eight combined or nine combined rebounds assists. You're going to be there. So you could look to the points. I like that as well. But the PRA, I think, also makes a lot of sense for a guy that will come in off the bench, handle the ball a little bit, sometimes bring it up the court. We'll be able to contribute in multiple categories. Uh, for our third prop, we are going over to the points board, and I'm taking Joel Embiid over 27 and a half points. You know, MB's going to come out super motivated. Came out aggressive early on. Finished with 30 points. There was a period late in the game where he looked gassed, so he got some rest there. But uh, hopefully with this being the third game back from an extended absence, he's able to go and maybe his conditioning's a little better and able to go play heavy minutes, which they'll need him to. They definitely don't want to lose this game, be down 3-1. So this is one of the most important games for MB's career. Just with how much pressure and everything that's been on him. He played 39 minutes. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets close to maybe even plays a little more than that today. Maybe up to 40 plus. But those are three props so far that I like. Another one that looks pretty good to me is points and rebounds. They don't have him under PRA. But that's Al Horford over 14 and a half PR points and rebounds. He's been shooting the three. Uh, tough. Well, last game he shot really well, but this playoffs he's been a bit cold. Maybe that last performance, making those, I believe, five threes, kind of revamps him a little bit. He's still playing the good minutes. He's done good in terms of rebounding. He had 7, 7, 6, 12, 6, 11. Going back to his last six games, points chipping in anywhere from like 3 to 17. But basically at this number 15, 8 rebounds, 7 points. That's going to get it done. I think that's very doable. Seems very low. Even the just taking the points on him, I think, makes sense uh, with it just being at 7.5. So this first slip is a 6 or Celtic slip. We got 4. Um, another one that I like looking at assist. 
You have James Harden at 8.5. He was 7.5 last game, able to really take advantage of that. 8.5 may be a little bit tougher, but I still think looks decent. You have Tyrese Maxey at 2.5, maybe looks okay. Jalen Brown at 3.5 looks decent. Um, probably the one that would look the best would be Harden. Uh, Jokic, that would be for the second slip. But going over to uh, back to points, rebounds, assist, uh, I like Tobias at 21.5. Foul trouble for him early on. He wasn't able to get into rhythm. He only finished the game playing just uh, 25 minutes. He's typically going to play high 30s, even into the 40s, especially in what is quote-unquote a must-win for them. He's going to rebound a little bit, maybe not as much with you know, Embiid going to be taking a good amount of those, but anywhere, still expect five-plus rebounds from Tobias. He has had a great postseason um, and has been shooting well. This last game, foul trouble, wasn't able to get into rhythm. Pretty low PRA prop for him at 21.5. And, and then you might want to consider looking at one of the Celtics stars if you're looking at Brown or Tatum. Personally, I like Jalen Brown. He just plays really well. He kind of knows his role, doesn't like to do too much. If Tatum at 27.5, both look a little tempting uh, if you wanted to look to their points rebounds and assist they also look similar brown is a little a lot lower at almost at nine lower so i'm going to take him instead at 33 and a half he's done good assisting you can rebound a bit look at the rebounds his number's only at five and a half which also looks pretty good on the over but i'm taking the 33 and a half pra kind of do a bit of that for this slip so we got brown over 33 and a half pra Tobias over 21.5 PRA, Al Horford over 14.5 points and rebounds, Embiid over 27.5 points, Brogdon over 20.5 points, rebounds, assist, and DeAnthony Melton over 8.5 points. That is the first slip. For the second slip, we're looking at the Suns and Nuggets game, and we're going right over to the points board. Scrolling down here, you got Devin Booker been absolutely lethal home game. You're getting no production from basically anybody else besides Booker and Durant on a consistent basis. Aiton got benched for Landell late in that game in the third. Couldn't finish over Jamal Murray. Missed some easy layups. So, I don't know what's going on over there. If he's going to have maybe as a big game, but I don't really buy it. Jokic is just, he's just not going to give up on the rebound. He's not going to let up. And Aiton is a guy that sometimes he needs to be told to run back down the court. He sometimes jogs, which... Just not a good look, and if that continues happening, we'll be put on the bench. But Booker can't miss this postseason. 31 and a half. Wouldn't be surprised if he puts up a 40 piece, maybe even a 50 piece today. That's the first one that I like. KD 30 points, like that as well. But I'm taking um, maybe the PRA. It's at 44. He's done good job in rebounding. He's going to give you some assist. 56 PRA last game. You know, 44 in the first game against Denver, but this is in Phoenix. Expect a little boost. Durant and Booker, they just go back and forth scoring. Uh, they have to be the playmakers with you know, Paul not looking like he's going to play. I don't know if he's already been ruled. Yeah, he's already been ruled out. So uh, if you look at the minutes for, for these two, they're just playing 41-44 for Booker in the last two games and for Kevin Durant. It's been 43-44. He flirted with the triple-double last game as well. Another PRA that looks good is uh, Nikola Jokic. His number is at uh, 50 and a half. He's been putting up well over 60 recently, 64 and 60 uh, last couple. Just having an incredible postseason. <laughs> Aiton just doesn't match up well with him at all. 17-17 rebounds, assists last game. Rebound total has been through the roof, 17, 16, 19, 17. And in the regular season, you got Jokic playing like 34, 35 minutes. Postseason, 41, 41, last couple of games. Get all those minutes for a guy that produces in every category. Expect the PRA to just completely go up a lot. Back over to points, going to Jamal Murray. He's been a kind of a go-to for me. Well, just tough game in the second one against Phoenix. 0 of 9 shooting, like I said in the last, yes, in Friday's video. Expected to bounce back. He bounced back with 32. He, he typically, in recent games that he's hit the over, it hasn't even been close to 25. He's been in the 30s, 32, 34, 35. 
So this is a spot where if Jamal Murray gets hot, he plays big minutes, you're going to kind of know early on if this one's going to hit unless he just has a big quarter. But if a shot's falling early on, you know he's going to continue to be aggressive. 24 shot attempts uh, last game, or 24, sh he's shooting about like 24, 20 plus times, especially when a shot's falling at least, like it has been. So those are the four pieces that you can kind of count on to be pretty uh, consistent, um, two from each team. Keep it as that slip, see if anything else looks somewhat decent looking PRA-wise. Uh, we saw uh, finally a decent game from, I mean, a good game from Michael Porter Jr. Gordon had a okay game, but, you know, this would be a four slip I'd run for the second game. And then we'll do one combined slip uh, between the both games. And I'm going to start off with Brogdon over 20.5 PRA. Keep Jokic in there at 50.5 PRA. Uh, Melton points just seems low. And I want to take advantage of that at 8.5. Taking the over there. Or maybe even the two, one and a half threes would probably be pretty free too. Because he has been... That's basically where he's getting most of his points from. But that looks good, uh, even if you just want to take the points. Uh, so those two, you got to go with one of Durant or Booker, if not both. Both been absolutely killing it. Taking Durant, 44 PRA. Could throw in Booker as well. Just go with Booker's points, just because those two are going to have to carry the load for the Suns again to try to even it two games apiece. So that is five. And then the last one. You want to keep it going with some superstars. Throw in Embiid over 27.5 points to make it a six pick for a combined. Brogdon over PRA. Jokic over PRA. Melton over points. KD over PRA. Booker over points. And Embiid over points. And yeah, that's it. Those are three slips I like today. Mix and match them. Run them if you like them as well. Best of luck. And I will catch you all next time.